Greetings, Internet. This is Ryan, and I'm going to do a podcast on a topic that I have gotten into recently. And recently, probably like two or three weeks ago, and that is the topic of aging and immortality. Now, by immortality, obviously, I guess it's not strictly immortal. By immortality, I mean uh, elimination of aging. Like, uh, obviously, like even if you don't age anymore... I mean, it's a virtual certainty that you're going to die from something somehow. But by immortality, I mean the uh, prevention of aging. And I started to get interested in this topic when I started to look at aging not as some mysterious, inevitable progression, but as just a basket of pathologies. And this basket of pathologies, of course, has causes. You know, and it's just a bunch of pathologies I, you know, muscle pro- muscle degradation, bone degradation, immune system problems, skin problems. I just view these as a basket of pathologies with all the root causes, which can, you know, fundamentally be identified and cured. And, and when I started to look at aging in that way, that's when I became interested in it, and I began to think that this is something that can really be done. And I think what prevents a lot of people from looking at aging in this way is that is what Aubrey de Grey calls the aging trance. And the aging trance is this mentality, like what I said, that mentality, uh, that aging is this mysterious, inevitable thing that just happens, and in some ways is in fact desirable, that there are some benefits to getting old, um, which is not something I really buy into a whole lot. I, I believe it's more of a, a coping mechanism to deal with something that uh, for most of human history has been very horrible. Right? Aging is very bad. If you look at aging as some disease and then you realize, wow, that's a kind of a bad disease that eventually kills you. You know, um, It's something that's very horrible and it's inevitable. So it, having this coping mechanism is quite rational. And, but now that's just getting in the way. This What was a coping mechanism is getting in the way of actually looking at aging as a series of pathologies that can be tackled and dealt with. Moreover, and what I'm going to say in this little podcast, it's a series of pathologies that can be tackled and dealt with, and in some instances reversed right now without spending a whole lot of money. Now, by reversed, I mean there are certain... There are multiple reasons why you age, and some of them can be reversed and dealt with right now. Um, and I'm making a very uh, bold claim by saying this, but I think that there are drugs on the market that can deal with them right now, that you can, that you can get right now. This is not some way off in the future kind of things, not some future, futurist podcast, but these are things you can do right now uh, for about uh, 170 bucks to $200 a month to, I wouldn't say stop aging altogether, but seriously limit it. And depending on how far along you are, uh, reverse it now. Let's let's say you're 60, and you reverse aging by in your body by about 20 years. Okay, like you're still going to keep aging. Okay, even if you've been able to you know turn back the clock in many parts of your body so much so that you end up looking and end up getting mistaken for you know a 40 year old. You're still going to age from that point. So. You know, that, that, that's really what I'm talking about right now. Now, we know um, the main causes of aging right now. Like, um, and, and I'm confident, and the field is, is becoming more confident that they know uh, really the, the things that cause aging, and, it, and it's a few things. The first, and I would say f- arguably foremost, perhaps not foremost, but arguably foremost, is your telomeres. Now, uh, your telomeres are these little tips at the end of your chromosomes. And apparently, whenever your chromosomes divide, uh, the, the telomeres get shorter. Now, apparently, having really, really short telomeres is bad for your cells and cause your cells to become inefficient and mutate and become more likely to become cancerous. There's nothing good about having short telomeres. 
Uh, I'm not sure why. The, I don't know why these, these little tips of chromosomes are so gosh dang important, but apparently they are. And when your cells divide, they get shorter. And researchers have generally come to the conclusion uh, that the maximum human lifespan is about 125 years. And I think this is because of uh, your telomeres. That is, even if you're doing everything right, you're not smoking, you're eating healthy, you're doing everything you can possibly do to be healthy, your cells, are still, your cells would still be dividing. Right? And your cells would still be dividing and they would still be losing uh, telomeres. That is, that is your, your telomeres would, would still be getting shorter even if you're doing everything right. Now, this was true until about 2005 when a drug came out called TA65. And this drug, TA65, is known to increase an enzyme called telomerase. Now, there are some cells in your body that the, 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 the telomeres do not age. That is, the, the telomeres do not get shorter in these cells, um, just naturally. And these are your sex cells. And this has to be true, because when someone is born, they have about 15,000 base pairs of uh, telomeres, and by the time they're, they hit puberty, they have about 8,000, and by the time they die... Or by the time they're done with puberty, they hit about they're at about eight thousand, and by the time they die, they're at about uh, five thousand. Once you go below about five thousand uh, telomere average for your cells, you're basically uh, dead. So we have these cells that don't lose telomeres, and the reason they don't lose telomeres over time is because of an enzyme uh, called telomerase. Now, telomeres apparently at the tip of your enzyme, th this is not DNA. It's like a repeating sequence of A, C, T, G, something. It's just repeating, and so it's something simple that the telomerase can go in and just ch -ch 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 -ch, just add, add more of in, in a certain pattern. Now, in your sex cells, they have uh, th there's a gene that is activated that causes the cells to produce a whole bunch of telomerase. This gene exists in all of your other cells, but is just not activated because it is being repressed by something. And what this drug, TA65, does is it goes in and it removes that, that suppressor and causes your cells to start producing TA65. Now, and, and, um, and, and it has been shown that, yes, at, when you take this drug, you're, you do produce more uh, telomerase. Now, there was a study recently uh, measuring the lengths of the uh, telomeres of people taking TA65. Uh, in the study, about 40% 40, uh, 40 of the participants uh, had their telomeres lengthened and about 60% on average shortened. Now, just at first glance, people look at that and they go, oh, I guess this drug is kind of not very effective. Well, actually, it's quite effective because normally you would have 100% uh, telomeres would shorten because that's, that's what happens. Your, your telomeres shorten on average as your cells divide. So the fact that there were some whose t uh, telomeres lengthened is a sign that this drug is working. Moreover, it can be a little bit misleading. That, that, that statistic is a little bit misleading, and here's why. You're going to have to follow along here. Okay, let's say you have about 8,000, let, let's say you have a cell that has 8,000 base pairs for their telomeres. And, the, and then there, right next to it is a cell with 5,000 uh, base pairs for their telomeres. The cell with 5,000, normally, with no telomerase, the cell with 5,000 is going to die. It's going to die, it's going to be recycled, and that cell with 8,000 telomeres is going to divide into two cells with about 7,990. Let's say there's 10 loss for every division. And so what what you have is is in those between those two cells the average telomere length is 7990. Now, let's take an environment where you have telomerase activated. You have the cell with 8000 uh, telomeres and you have a cell with 5000. Now, if you have telomerase involved, 
what the telomerase is going to do, let's say it increases the telomeres of the uh, 5,000 uh, cell to 5,100. And let's say it increases the one with 8,000 to 8050. Apparently, telomerase works more on cells with, sh with already shorter telomeres. Don't know why, but it just does. Um, but in the environment where you have telomerase, that cell that would have died normally is kept alive and now has 5,100 telomeres and is kept alive, and that number is going to keep going up and up and up. And so what do you have? Well, you have one cell with 8,050 telomeres. You have another cell with uh, 5,100 telomeres. And so that average is lower than if that cell with 5,000 telomeres had died. So the average is actually lower in the presence of telomerase. Now, I look at this and I see, well, this is great for the long run. This is very great for the long run because it's going to cause uh, your cells to stay around longer and it's going to prevent a really bad aging in the future. However, it seems that in the short run, this would actually make you a little bit worse off because you have all these old cells that, that are being kept alive and are being restored. And this, of course, takes time to restore these cells. And in that interim, you're going to have a whole bunch of cells that would normally be disposed of being kind of kept alive. But um, apparently this is not the case. Uh, uh, apparently, um, people who take uh, TA65, it's unfortunately the the results are a little are having questionable statistical significance, um, but gen but like across the board improvements, especially in vision, and I'm not quite sure why that is, but especially in provision in vision, you have a lot of across the board improvements, and it is known that that there are statistically significant increases in telomerase. So, um, so this stuff uh, does work. Now, I think TA65, the company that makes TA65, uh, TA Sciences, yeah, it's kind of a car salesman uh, name there, uh, I think they are ripping uh, the public off. The lowest price for TA65 you can get it at is about $200 a month, and you have to buy it in six-month installments. So the lowest is $200 a month, and I'm going to link to a form. I don't have time to go into this here. I'm almost out of time here, but it's basically it's a basic certainty that uh, TA65 is cyclostraginal. Okay, and cyclostraginal does not cost that much. Um, now, cyclostraginol, it, it is known that, that ingesting cyclostraginol will um, stimulate telomerase. It is a, a telomerase stimulator. I guess it removes whatever the suppressor agent is and will uh, cause more telomerase to be produced and will lengthen your telomeres or, or, or whatever. And so if you want the effect of TA65, just get um, some, some high-quality cyclostraginol and uh, you should have the same effect. Now... It is possible to look to measure your telomeres. You, you can uh, just do a Google search for measure my telomeres. And you know you can take a bunch of cyclostraginol and see if it is having a, any effect on the length of your shortest uh, telomeres. Because you know, your average may remain stagnant or even go down. But what you should really look at is how long are your shortest uh, telomeres. Because that will tell you, like, if remember, remember the scenario I was talking about previously.